Hello everyone, in this lecture we'll be dealing with the next second part of unit number 4 that is drilling machine and different operation performed on it. So in last lecture we discussed we can perform a drilling operation, ramming operation, boring operation on lathe machine as well as on drilling machine. So the difference with the rotation of workpiece and the cutting tool movement in both the machines. So I'll just revise this thing with the previous slide. So this is the drilling operation performed on lathe machine. We can place the drill bit in the tail stock and workpiece is rotating and the feed is given to the drill bit that is a twisted drill, drill bit by using tail stock movement on the bed. Similarly for rimming operation, boring operation, this boring tool can be placed inside a tail stock and we can enlarge the diameter of drilled hole. Of course that cylindrical workpiece can be placed inside the chuck of lathe and as we discussed this boring tool is a single point cutting tool. Thread cutting is operation which is performed on lathe machine by using a single point V shaped tool. Here the motion is parallel to the as normal axis to the workpiece or the spindle and the cross motion is given by using cross slide. Here we can produce an helical V or the square groove on cylindrical surface which you might have seen in many applications that is a threads on cylindrical workpiece. This diagram here is explain a thread cutting operation on the lathe machine. So the lathe screw is engaged with the help of split nut which is not shown here. So in the next diagram you can see the split nut. So the mechanized motion that is a definite relative motion is given by using this carriage and the lead screw. So the thread cuts on this cylindrical workpiece on lathe. This is a split nut assembly which actually engage the carriage to the lead screw. So this was the last lecture contained. Now here we will start with a drilling machine. Again very simple, we will start with the simple day to day life a drill bit which you might have seen in a domestic application. So what is this drilling? It is creating a cylindrical hole in the workpiece. So for which you use a cutting tool called as a drill which is again multi point cutting tool because every surface acts as cutting tool. So it is a multi point cutting tool for drilling operation. Material used for drill bits or the drills are high carbon steel, high speed steel and the alloy steel. HC for high carbon, HSS for high speed steel. The end of this drill cutting tool is conical in shape to initiate the hole. So that is we will see in next slides. Working principle is very simple. The workpiece is clamped on the work table and the drill bit which is in conical shape or multi point cutting tool it is placed inside the chuck and it moves with the speed and we provide the feed to the cutting tool. So the rotary cutting tool the feed is given to this by hand or by maybe manual or by power feed. The workpiece is stationary here which is the contrast or it is reversed to that of lathe machine. For lathe machine workpiece is rotating. For drilling the workpiece is stationary. So we will discuss these parts. So first portable drilling machine is just for general knowledge for the sake of your understanding. This is also one type portable drilling machine. So first part sensitive drilling machine. The actual diagram and the 3D image and the schematic diagram is shown here. The sensitive drilling machines are normally preferred for small applications that is for light duty applications where the dimensions are limited means dimension of the drill bit is limited to 15 mm. So when the diameter is less than 15 we can go with this type of machine that is small holes at high speed. So we can say that for light jobs we prefer the sensitive drilling machine. Here the drill is fed into work purely by hand. You can observe the hand is given which is used for giving the fit. So this consists of base 
vertical column the table which is having sliding motion it can rotate and then drill bit which is inside the spindle which provides speed to the rotating drill you should remember the diagrams its parts name and limitation of sensitive drilling it is used for high speed but for small object up to 15 mm drilled hole second one is again upright drilling machine you can slightly observe the difference between the previous and this again this is not a part of our discussion because this is not in the syllabus we'll be just discussing radial arm drilling machine and the sensor drilling machine we just observe the basic points and schematic diagram for this here the upright drilling machine is designed for medium size workpiece whereas sensitive drilling machines are used for light duty vehicle light duty object or work pieces here we may have a two types of column as you can see in the diagrams as a round or box so we'll focus on this third part which is very important in our discussion radial arm drilling machines so this is used for heavy duty work and large work pieces when we want to create the diameter is greater extremely large so the difference is here you observe the table is placed on the base which is stationary which was not the case for sensitive drilling machine so here the radial arm having two kind of motion it can have a one translatory motion as well as this radial arm can swing so the swinging motion as well as the translatory motion of the radial arm gives the flexibility of different operation on the radial drilling machines so that's why they are used for medium to the large heavy work pieces on maybe cylindrical or irregular shapes which can be placed on work table which is stationary the drill head can made a slide on the radial arm as you can see this drill head also can slide on the radial arm these are different motions and the basics of radial arm drilling machine this is actual diagram where the work table is mounted on the base and this radial arm extruded part which can swing or slide and that head is also it can slide on the radial arm all the basic elements of radial arm drilling machine and their functions are explained on this slide now we'll discuss different operations performed on drilling machine so as name drilling machine a very basic first operation drilling a function is to provide or to create a cylindrical hole so here we are using a twist drill conical shape to initiate the hole so it is a multi point conical end drill bits it is used for creating a desired dimension hole next operation is a rimming operation rimming is a multi point cutting tool its end is flat it's not conical so flat end multi point cutting tool is a rimmer so what is the meaning and functions of rimming operation rimming is nothing but to finish or to accurate the already drilled hole let us consider i need to have a hole of size 20 mm so instead of going directly with the 20 mm drill bit or drilling operations what we can do we can go with the 18 mm or 15 mm drilling operations and then for last two or three mm difference that we can say accurization of hole we can do by using a rimmer tool so that rimming is nothing but for giving accurate sizing or finishing the already drilled hole so first we do the drilling operation then we rim it by using rimming operation so that is for accurizing the already drilled hole we use this rimmer tool it's multi point cutting tool you can see the different diagrams and actual 3d image of rimming tool that is we call as a rimmer tool then next one is a boring operation that is referred as single point cutting tool as we discussed in lathe machine as well as this here we use a boring bar as having a single point cutting tool function is to enlarge the already drilled hole so to enlarge already drilled hole 
we can have the boring operation that is boring tool so we cannot have a larger diameter twisted drill bits so we do the first drilling operation with the available drill bit and then we use a boring tool as a single point cutting tool to enlarge the diameters of already drilled hole it is again used for finish the hole accurately as well as it is used to machine the internal surface of hole and sometimes it can be used for this as well as for finishing the hole so basic function of boring operation to enlarge the hole next operation is counter boring so counter boring again you can observe this diagram indicates its application this nut and bolt system so where it is used and why it is used so the function is mentioned here counter bore it is again the multi point cutting tool the operation of this counter boring indicates enlarging the end of hole cylindrically now just observe this diagram where I'll just explaining why this nut bolt is shown here on this side. So this end can be placed here. So to provide the recess to the system, so we are requiring this enlarging the one end so that we can place this kind of cylindrical object inside the workpiece. So to enlarge the limited portion of hole, the operation performed is called as counter boring. So of course the end is flat end and as mentioned here the cutting speed for the counter boring is at least 25% less than the drilling. So at lesser speed we do this operations. The next counter boring then we have counter sinking. It is similar function as that of counter boring. Here the end is instead of having flat end here we have conical shape so that this countersink tool provide the recess so that we can place this screw type conical space inside the workpiece. So conical end for counter boring it, the end was flat here the end was conical. The operation of making cone shaped enlarging end for accommodating the screw conical face inside the workpiece the operation is counter sinking that end is conical so it provides the recess for the screws next one is next operation similar to counter boring counter sinking as this spot facing spot facing is again similar to counter boring but here the dimensions are very less so we are just giving a spot at one end so that this head of screws nut or the washers can be placed inside the workpiece or similar to the nut and bolt system the end is flat the operation is of smoothing and the squaring the one end or around the one hole and it is done to provide proper seating for nut and screw or washers here you can see some washers diagram and it can be spot faced inside the workpiece. It is again multi point tool. Next operation is tapping operation. Tapping is a basic operation to create or to cut the internal threads of drilled hole. So let us say we have a 15 mm diameter drilled hole and on this drilled hole if you want internal threads the operation performed is called as tapping. So for this we should have a tap tool which is consist of theoretical structures on the surface and it is performed by using power or it may be by manual hands. So these are very common operations on drilling machine. Next operation is trepanning. Trepanning is the operation which produces a large hole inside a workpiece which we cannot have the dimension same dimension drill bit so here you can observe at centrally we have a support and one cutter is as is used to cut a large hole 
So trepanning is operation of producing a large hole in a metal sheets or in workpiece by removing the material along the circumference of cutting by using cutting tools. So large holes can be created on the workpiece that is called as trepanning. It is not a drilling operation because this operation is called a trepanning where we cannot have the same dimension drill bits. So here the few chips are removed and the much of the material is saved. Why? Because when we have this operation, you can observe this cutting tool. A single point cutter is used with the help of central drill as a support. We can cut a large and heavy materials from workpiece. Then these are few topics on which you can have discussion on the last all operations performed on drilling machines. So few questions, drilling machine diagrams and different operations. I hope this is very easy to understand by using a 3D cutting tools and applications and 3D figures of drilling machine and their operations. Thank you.